is your first day. You got this job so you could rob. You got this job so you could steal. Like she she definitely planned this. <laughs> to my channel welcome 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 and today it's just gonna be a story time i'm gonna be giving you guys a tea on wait, let me move forward a little bit just giving you guys tea on my experience working at mcdonald's a crazy experience i had so from the title you can already see that it's basically i was working at mcdonald's this was like when i was when I was 16, this was 2018, I believe. And basically this girl asked me to help her steal money from the register so she could bail her boyfriend out of jail. Okay, so yeah, that happened. Um, so I'm just gonna jump into the story. But anyway, so this was like a regular shift or whatever. And then this new girl comes in and like the managers tell me that I should show her how everything works. Cause I was, uh, I was at the front register. So they were like, show her how everything works, you know, whatever, just basically train her. Cause I, I had been there for a while and I was one of the good workers. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, they were like, you should train her or whatever. So. I was training this girl she was pregnant I should add she was pregnant so yeah I would be training her and I noticed that she would go to the bathroom a lot I I don't know if it was because of the pregnancy but I just know that she would go to the bathroom a lot or she'd be like oh I have to take this call and whatever <clears throat> but she would just be like gone from the register a lot which I thought was kind of weird but I was like, I don't know what's going on. Like, she's new, so I, I, I don't know. I didn't really care. But one thing I did notice is that she was kind of sus whenever it would come to ringing up a customer. Every time that cash register, cash register opened, she would appear. Even if, like, I wasn't there. Let's say I was showing her something in the back. Once the register would open or someone's ringing up someone, she would like creep back up there. And at first, obviously, I thought maybe she just wants to see how it works, you know, and whatnot. But I started to notice that I feel like she's trying to do something else. I don't know. I just kind of felt like the way she was just always there was just weird to me. And she would like float around. You know, she would be pushing buttons, like she would go up, go up there by herself and start like pushing buttons and stuff. Like no one else is there with her. And I'm like, what is going on? I'm so confused right now. But I was like, okay, so whatever. So I was just like staying around her to see if anything would happen. And I think this was a Sunday and I guess to work like two to 10. So let's say around like night time, let's say like eight-ish. So we, I and her were at the register and um, she just basically goes like, I don't know what kind of person you are, but, and in my head, I'm like, no, 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 whatever information you're about to share with me, I don't want it. Keep it to yourself because if I have this information, basically I have to take some kind of action like, I just want to earn my $10 per hour and leave. Like, I'm tired. Don't. Anyway, so she's like, basically, I don't know what kind of person you are, but I'm a Christian, but I got to do what I got to do. And I'm like, Miss Girl, what are you talking about? And she's like, so I'm pregnant, as you can see. I'm like, yes. I can see and she's like I'm pregnant and my boyfriend is in jail okay that's a sad story but what does that have to do with me you know and she's like basically I have to bail him out this is his second time being in jail and I'm like uh okay like bail him out then like what are you telling me <laughs> you know like I don't I don't know why you're telling me this information like I've known you for like 30 minutes. 
Yeah. But she's like, um, I need to bail him out of jail, but I don't have the money. Like, I've already sold my phone. And she was like, oh, this is our second pregnancy. The first time I had the baby, um, he went to jail. And because of the stress, I lost the baby. Yeah, this is the second time. This is the second baby. He didn't learn the first time. He didn't want to do better for you. You want to steal for him. So what? You end up right next to him in the jail? Like, I don't understand. Like, you guys... I don't understand people sometimes, but... Yeah, she was like, I, I really need to bail him out. I've already sold my phone. That I promised to pay the money back. Like, please just help me take... I think it was like $200 from the register. And I promised to put it back the next day. I'm like, this is your first day. You got this job so you could rob. You got this job so you could steal. Like, she she definitely planned this because she had been acting sus since the beginning of her shift. People have... How do you... I don't understand people. You literally got the job to steal. And the thing about the McDonald's I worked at is if the money from the register was short, whoever was working the register around the, cause they changed the register from time to time. So at the point where, so basically from the last point that the register was like changed, like they taken out all the money and emptied it basically, whoever was with it to the next change is responsible for how much is in that register. So just imagine them being like, uh, Oyinda, during your shift, $200 is kind of missing and you gotta pay from pocket, yes. If the it's a, if the register's short, whoever was there gotta pay up. Now think about it. Two hundred dollars. I'm working two to ten, earning ten dollars per hour. That's eighty dollars. That's more than. Girl, I'm like I'm not entertaining this, and I'm like okay, I'm not helping you steal, if that's what you're asking me. And she's like, please. And I'm like, no. I know how to open the register. She's asking me how. I don't tell her. And she just basically keeps telling me the backstory. Like, I lost the baby. I really want to help him get out. Blah, blah, blah. Like, my mom wants to help me bail him out, but she didn't have enough money. And I'm like, girl, you guys don't have $200. And she's like, I've asked his family. Like, nobody has. I'm like, that's such a lie. How can you tell me you ask his family, ask your mom, and amongst all of you, you guys can come up with two hundred dollars? Like, what? And you know what? If she worked, cause my McDonald's needed people. If she worked a good amount of time, like literally, she could earn two dollars in like two days. So I don't understand. Like, you could have just done your shift today, done tomorrow, maybe done the next day. Boom, two hundred dollars. anyway so basically i'm like no and i at that point my manager starts to catch on to what's kind of happening she kind of notices everyone kind of notices that this is what's happening so my manager sends me on break so she can deal with that girl and you know they're just tired of her basically so they tell her that she can go home and she can come back the next day and so they send her home and she leaves and I'm on I'm on my break. So I'm in the back room and um they tell her to clock out and she clocks out, she leaves. I go to the back room, I'm eating. It's like ten minutes left on my break. And in the back room there's like a back door where we can throw out the trash and everything. And I see this girl and she comes to the back. Mind you, she left at the beginning of my break and it's now like twenty minutes later and she comes to the back. To the back door and she's trying to talk to me and i'm like what are you doing here miss what are you doing what, <laughs> what are you doing here and i'm like girl i just want to eat my big mac and watch youtube like i've been working for six hours now i deserve this break like please but she's begging me y'all she starts crying she's like please i'm like you're asking me to rob I don't know you. I'm not gonna go to jail for you. Like, I don't understand why you're, why is she clinging to me? Like, I'm not the only person there. And she begs me, and you guys, I clock back in after my break, almost 20 minutes late, because of this girl would not leave me alone. And when I clock back in, she comes into the store from the back, 
And she's like begging me, like, okay, can you at least borrow me two hundred dollars? I'm like, Miss Girl, if I borrow you two hundred, that's not borrowing. If I borrow you two hundred dollars, you're not gonna pay me back because you're about to rob a McDonald's. You're not gonna pay me back, you know. And I'm like, no. I tell her something like, my card is linked to my mom's account, which it was actually. So I was like, my my card is linked to my mom's account. So if I kind of like take money out she's gonna see that i took out two hundred dollars and cash out to someone else you know like i can't do that and she starts asking people in the in the store like oh can you borrow me two hundred dollars everyone's like no but that was really weird and i was like i was frustrated so i just went and told my manager point blank period like this girl is asking me to steal money for her like because i didn't want to get in trouble if anything is missing if she did if she did end up stealing the money and they'd be like, you knew and you didn't tell us. So I didn't I didn't want anything like that. So I just told my manager, like, this is what's happening. She's asking me for money, you know. And I've been telling her no. She came into the store after she clocked out to beg me and whatever. Like, this is exactly what's going on. And my manager's like, okay, thank you for telling us. And you guys, um, basically, that's where everything, like, kind of calmed down. After I reported, then I just basically detached myself from the situation. And my manager was like, sis, you got to go home. And she left the store. And she came back again. And she was just kind of lurking in the dining area. You know, trying to get to the register. I'm like, how are you going to steal even after you've clocked out? Like, it was just so stupid. But after like her third time of coming back into the restaurant, she just kind of finally leaves. And obviously they they fire her. I don't know if they formally fired her, but you know, she never came back. And that was really weird. I don't know. That was so crazy to me that that would actually happen to me because I've never experienced something like that. So I was like, that was weird. And I was just glad that I told someone because I didn't want to be associated with any kind of money missing because a sis is 16. Any money you take from my account is going to damage my soul. It's going to hurt my pocket, crying, wallet, shedding tears. So I can't afford anything like that. And I'm not about to end up in jail next to you and your baby daddy in prison. Like, girl, if you want to end up in jail and give birth right next to your husband in that cell, like, that's your problem. But don't drag me, a stranger, into your situation, you know. So yeah, that's basically the story of this weird girl that asked me to help her steal money from the register so she could bail out her boyfriend. And mind you, she was like, maybe I would say she was like maybe 19 or 20. So imagine, just imagine that kind of life. She's like, this is my second pregnancy. The person that got me pregnant is in jail for the second time. I'm like, girl, you're too young for this. Like, you don't need him as a baby daddy. Like, this this can't be your last option you know trying to rob for you got the job so you can rob that rhymes but it was just crazy and yeah i never saw her again i was afraid for a while i was actually scared that she would maybe try to jump me because i snitched on her like i don't know if she knows oh yeah they basically asked me to write a report of everything that happened that day and they put it in this like incident book. So I wrote down the whole story and everything and I had to sign. And I think they ha they had the girl sign the same thing. So I guess she kind of knew that I told. So I was scared for like a whole week. I was like, is she going to jump me? Like just find out when I come in and like attack me or something. I was scared. I actually like properly scared because I was like, if she can't rob this place, like what else can she do? You know, but yeah, that's basically the story time of the thing at McDonald's. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I worked at McDonald's for about a year. And I don't really have a lot of crazy stories. Just like, you know, the regular annoying customers, rude customers. I, I do have, like, a story of how I quit McDonald's. I could drop that story time for you guys. Um, I most likely will. Um, yeah, I don't know when, though, but... I most likely do that story time where I quit McDonald's and any other stories I have from working there. But yeah, that was uh, my story. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, please leave a like, 
comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!